Good morning, and welcome to another drawing prompts video. We're, today we're going to go through uh, drawing prompt uh, 51 through 75. Uh, this is the book, the drawing prompt book that I kind of got addicted to. Um, and ask, answer a couple of questions. If you're a regular viewer, you kind of probably got the joke, like, what's with this uh, guy with the jeans and the printed plaid shirt and the hat up there? Well, that's me. Uh, that's the outfit I, I wore during my uh, uh, woodworking videos series that went on for about eight years. <clears throat> and so whenever on several of them I have little pictures of uh, myself in there. Okay, let's go to uh, drawing, drawing prompt 51 and get started. This was my, this was my favorite. This, this was uh, drawing prompt 47. I was pretty proud of that. Drawing a dollar bill. Lots harder than you think. Okay, let's, uh, let's move on here. 49. 51. This is uh, drawing prompt 51, a giraffe. Pretty standard, uh, pretty standard drawing of a, of a giraffe. Uh, the thing that was kind of interesting on this was these little dots are, are squares all over their back. None of them are the same shape, but they still have to all fit together. If you start, if you just draw them like, you know, like windrows, it really looks stupid. Uh, so they have to be all different shapes, kind of random, but not random. Okay, drawing cramp 52. This is a wishing well. I must have had plenty of time on this one because I really went to town on the on the detail. In the video you might be able to see it. But I even have the edges of the board boards put in. The uh, But that's a standard, standard little uh, drawing of a wishing well. Next drawing prompt is uh, 53, and the drawing prompt is a bull, bullseye. So the only bullseye I could think of was a dartboard, and with four bullseyes. Pretty good shooting, huh? Drawing prompt 54. This is a bouquet of roses. Drawing prompt 55. Now this is a tough one here because one thing, I these are all drawn with, with colored pencils and ink. Uh, this is an ink pen. And it's very difficult to draw night with pencils. And you gotta have some dark. Or this this drawing prompt 55 is the Aurora Borealis <clears throat> or the Northern Lights. I think it's called uh, Aurora Australis when it's in the southern hemisphere. But the you can see the these are the supposed to be the northern lights here. But you see my dark's not dark enough with those with the pencils. 
And then this is a row of trees and they're all reflected in the lake. And here's a re reflection of the Aurora Borealis. This call caused from the uh, Northern Lights are caused from the solar wind striking the uh, magnetosphere, magnetosphere of the Earth and the atoms are energized. Next one is uh, 56. The drawing prompt is a boom box and you got old Memphis there uh, holding his boom box. And you notice right here, about 10 years ago, I, I whacked my finger off with a table saw. And you notice I got it missing right there. Actually, you can see it right here. Okay, this is uh, drawing prompt 57. Uh, the prompt is ticket stub. So uh, the big thing right now, as you know, is the Taylor Swift uh, Eras Tour. So I took a tip, ticket stub from her concert. The hard part here was I had to draw 10 portraits of her in the, uh, in the ticket. Next one is 58, and this is captain's hat. So I got old Memphis there wearing a captain's hat. I got the shaded, I got to have a cool factor, so I got the shades on. Got a pipe here, and looking real nautical. Next one is 59. And 59, the prompt is something nautical. So I don't know what could be more nautical than a tall ship. Uh, they rule the seas for about 100 years. As a matter of fact, they continue to uh, be profitable even after the invent, advent of uh, steamships because they're more reliable and just as fast, but they slowly faded away. Drawing prompt 60. This reminds me, you know, probably even knowing this is the drawing prompt is banjo. Uh, this kind of reminds me of uh, of Steve Martin back in the 70s. Some of you don't even know who he is, but he was a comedian that played the banjo. So we got old Memphis here playing the banjo. Uh, bowling pro uh, drawing prompt 61 is bowling alley and pins. Well, this was a tough one to figure out. Uh, how do you get a bowling alley and pins all on one little page? Well, I uh, came up with this, uh, some inspiration from the internet. But you can see old Memphis there's bowling in a strike. But you up here at the top, it's kind of, if you've ever bowled much, you know at the end of the lanes, they all sometimes have some real goofy 70s looking designs and stuff on that backboard. And you got the pins in there. Oh, another feature of this, I even got those, you know, those renting, those shoes you rent at the bowling alley. They're all weird colors and stuff. Okay, uh, prompt 62 is labyrinth. A labyrinth is something that's confusing and uh, difficult to understand. 
So I, I, I drew one of those rooms where it's got stairs going every which way. You know, I got stairs to nowhere and passageways to nowhere and um, kind of a, a labyrinth. I had to look the next one up, uh, 63. That is, the drawing prompt is the Kraken. Well, I didn't know what the Kraken was, so I had to look it up. And the Kraken is a mythical sea beast that back in the day when they didn't know what was out there, ships go out and they supposed to be gone two years and pretty soon there was they were gone 10 years and no one knew what happened to them. And so they came up with a mythical beast that would snap ships up. And you can see this Kraken's got a ship in his tentacles there. Okay, 60, 64. This is an armadillo. The story on this, you can see all these little, all these little scales. Well, I must have had a lot of time because I drew, drew all, drew, drew, put all those in there one at a time. I couldn't figure out how, how else to do it. But another thing to remember about armadillos is, well, they got these really scratchy feet. I think they're used to dig up ants and termites. But they also have hair coming out underneath the uh, uh, shell here. The next one is uh, 65, and the drawing prompt is Eiffel Tower. And here it is. It's probably the best Eiffel Tower drawing you'll ever, you'll ever see. I don't know if you can see any of that detail, but I put it in there. I think I put uh, screw holes in the thing. Hey, drawing prompt 66. This is Jack in the Box. Just a standard Jack in the Box. We we'll call it Memphis in the Box. Throwing old Memphis out of the out of the Jack Jack in the Box. Next one is a goblet. I just made one of those weird gothic looking ones. I think I saw a picture on the internet similar to this. It's my it was my uh, inspiration. And uh, 68 is mutant. Well, Here's old Memphis as a mutant. I don't see much difference though. Sixty-nine is weeping willows. There's your weeping willows. And there's old Memphis uh, coming up with a chainsaw to cut him down. I guess. I hope not. Memphis, turn around. You don't need to cut those trees down. Okay, 70. Okay, just a standard, I didn't know what to do with this one. It's, the, it's 70, it's a grappling hook. So I just uh, had plenty of time, so I just put all kinds of detail in it. Let's see. The rope, I actually have the strands of the rope in there. There's the hook. And to prove what a good, good, good person I am, uh, this is drawing prompt 71. Uh, the the uh, Drawing prompt is shepherd. Well, that's me. There, the good shepherd. 
got my sheep there. Got my uh, shepherd's crook, they call it. 72. Well, this was harder than I thought it was going to be. The drawing prompt is your country's flag. Well, I don't know, mostly American here. How do you get 50 stars in here? Uh, I guess you could have 10 rows of 10 or five rows of 10, but that wouldn't that it wouldn't it wouldn't come out right. So what they've done, boy, to study this, uh, I don't know. Can you even see that? Uh, they've got six across the first row, then they have five. So there's 11 in for every two rows. So that's 11, 22, 33, 44, and then six for, for a total of 50. So that was kind of clever. And they all have to line up diagonally, see? If they don't, then it looks stupid. Also, of course, you've got to have the right number of star, uh, stripes and the white stripe has to go underneath the blue field. So I had to figure all that out and I'm not that smart. This is drawing prompt 73 and this is a water slide. It's actually a kind of a failed drawing. Um, I was trying to juice it up a little bit by adding the spiral staircase and the the wood platforms and all that stuff, but kind of failed on this uh, on this uh, spiral staircase. Seventy four. I had to look this one up too. This is a didgeridoo, which is a kind of uh, native Australians used to use it. Makes a real low tone, carries a long way. And there's old Memphis blowing on his didgeridoo. And finally, 75. There's old Memphis, uh, the, the uh, prompt is power lines. There's old Memphis up there fixing the power. Okay, that'll do it for this adventure. Uh, if I get any views, uh, I'll, I'll start with uh, 76 and go to 100. So, thanks for watching.